welcome back to some more ARC gameplay. So today, we're going to be doing something uh, that's kind of a secret. Now, there's actually not a lot of guys even in our squad who knows that I'm doing this. And I'm doing this uh, as like a backup plan for protection. Um, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm building an underwater base. And when I say underwater, uh, I just mean you have to go underwater to get to the base because it's in a cave. And the reason why I'm doing it in a cave is because it provides a lot of protection and you really can't get there on a lot of different things or unless you have Lazarus Chowder. And, uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and take a bit of a base tour. And we're going to hop on SR-71 Reborn. SR-71 died. He did not take uh, commands from me. He was insanely fast, would not take commands, and uh, double tapped you when I got off of something, but he didn't listen, and essentially he jumped off a ledge and got swarmed by like 20 different things. He lasted a long time, but he ultimately died. So our base is now two stories tall, but uh, we don't really use the second story. We only use it to put some birds there occasionally, as well as have that turret there. We now have, uh, I believe it's three and four high walls, um, mostly metal and stone. It's all metal and stone, actually. We have these towers, which uh, are all powered with bullets in them to protect our base. We have, let's see, that's two, three up here, which, so we've got a little bit of an issue with, like, the side there not being covered, but that's what that center one is for over here on the base and one up there so we've got towers generators running everywhere lots of gasoline being used but it's definitely worth it Jabberjaws died uh, somebody didn't understand that when you go in, go into an underwater cave you can't come up or your guy will your uh, stuff will die immediately well sharks sharks will the ichthyosaurus won't uh, and then we also have we've got so many t-rexes one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm guessing the ninth one must be over at the one of the other bases. Two spinos, bunch of carnos, tons of raptors and uh, sabers, and uh, essentially what I did yesterday. Here I'll show you because this is kind of cool. I spent I don't know how many hours yesterday, at least like. I don't know seven hours making this out here and the reason is because we got a lot of stuff that we're trying to like get rid of like and I just said why get rid of things that'll be good for defense when we can have it uh, protect the base and so I built all this stuff out here and uh, killer helped as well we have Tinawas. Tinawas is like extremely efficient at gathering wood and helping make all of this stuff so this area is going to be used for uh, extra dinos and dinos that we're going to try to sell. I built a bridge over the water. Yeah, and I figured we're trying. We're, we sell dinos now. That's how we sell and get like cementing paste and stone and things like that. And so we've got this large open pen area out here, which, like I said, took me forever. I think Killer finished the finished the outside of the walls with the spikes. He also helped me gather stone and things like that. And here is our pen, which I moved and improved upon. This is like we keep our generator and our refrigerator for uh, prime meat. Very efficient process. We go get prime meat, we put it in here, then we take the prime meat out, and we give it to whatever we're taming. And we just lead things into here via this ramp. We jump down. Sometimes... <laughs> They follow, we go out the door. And then we can shoot them through the door as well. Or we can go up on the shooting gallery, the shooting platform. And then if it's the largest thing, we take it out of the dino gate. Oh, movement speed. Holy crap. Holy levels. Okay, here we go. He's so fast. I literally have to watch what I do. I can't turn around. I got to get off of it. Close the gate and then get back on it. This is so fast. That, uh, that's kind of weird that it doesn't have a gender. What the heck? All right, here we go. To the underwater base. It's so freaking close to our base. 
And I didn't even know it was here. Hopefully those sharks don't aggro on me. There's some pearls. Good to get. Yeah, hopefully those sharks didn't aggro on me and follow me down here. Oh, here's the underwater base. This is where I park it. And go up. And here we go. Oh, the pros respawned. Awesome. I didn't know if the pros are going to respawn from uh, me building there. We just got to make sure the sharks don't come down here. If so, I'm going to have to jump in and kill them. Sometimes you just got to wait. That's why I park it way back there so I have enough time. I don't want to... I, I, I need to figure out how to... I like maybe build some walls out and then put a gate and some ceilings or something. I don't know how to wall this off because I can't put a uh, door down because it won't work. Um, maybe I build a, a wall inside. I don't see. I don't know because the problem with being underwater is that everybody you can swim through like any little hole. Okay, I think we're good. So this is the base. It's just uh, so far it's just some barricades essentially with the walls. Like I said, I spent a ton of time on this. And uh, we've got like ladders. So you can climb up and protect, shoot out, you know, if you need to. There's another ladder over there. And then you just go through the second door. No, oh, actually, 25C4, that'd be wrong. You'd need like 20C4, essentially. And uh, this is just wood for now because I got tired of doing metal stuff. But we do have the freaking vault in here, which is gigantic. I don't know why I shut the door. Like I'm, oh, I have way more storage boxes than I thought. Holy crap. Well, good thing I only made one. Didn't spend forever doing that. Because that would have been bad. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to put the smithy down. Because we can always expand upon this in the future. But I'm just trying to uh, kind of fit all this in here with that, with the, uh... okay, that's not going to fit. We might, I might have to, uh... wait a minute. I made a bookshelf. I didn't even make a storage cabinet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I need to get rid of one. So after all that, I had to get rid of it. Which, which is good to have a bookshelf, because we need a bookshelf. So whatever. It works. My mistake worked out. Whoops. Okay, so there's that. And then we can put the mortar. Whoops. Put the mortar right here. And then... I, like I said, I'll expand all this in the future, so it doesn't even matter. And then we'll put the fire right there for now. And we'll put some wood in this fire. Some thatch. And I don't need that. Okay, so that's good. So this is the underwater base currently being worked on. Uh, currently, I'm just like kind of gathering the materials from the cave, putting it in here, storing stuff. And like I said, I need to bring down weapons and armor and go from there. Um, I don't think you can crawl through there. Yep. You're good. I'm good. And I even tested like trying to come around. Here, I'll show you. I even tested like trying to scale the wall to get get over or through, but that doesn't work. So yeah, so this is the underwater base I'm currently working on. This is just like double thick walls, so you can't get through as easily. Uh, Cause you, it's kind of weird building underwater, especially on like slopes and stuff. It doesn't work out as well, so you have to kind of line up foundations and go from there but yeah this is the underwater base not not a lot to look at currently but eventually my plan is to have basically from that wall and over to this wall all like one giant base and so we just have like another backup location and then make sure we have like you know crops growing for the Lazarus chowder and things like that so people can get back to the surface if they need to as well as Figuring out how to figuring out how to gate this in, so we uh, can like keep some swimming stuff down here, so we can always get out. But if you essentially what that guy did was he came up with Jabber Jaws. Saint came up with oh uh, no, it wasn't Saint it was Phantom. Came up with the Jabber Jaws up out of the water and it died right away. And you didn't know that there that 
that would happen. And so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's the look at my underwater base I'm currently working on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure to click that thumbs up button below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.